Okay. Let's see if it works. Uh, hey guys. Uh, do you see me? Uh, are you there? Oh, I bet I haven't set the audio. Audio. Yes, I have set the audio. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry about the message limit. I get that too. And that's pretty frustrating when I'm trying to see if something is working. Um, yes. So, I uh, tagged along with some uh, some people involved with tech ops and the spaces and stuff. And so now we are up in uh, a new space that is uh, being assembled at this very moment called 50 Wall Street. 12th floor. It is essentially, as far as I know, um, I do not have the official version of what's going on. Um, oh, J01A. Also, yes, um, my dear friend Flux Rostrum has his own mobile broadcast news.com, mobile broadcast news bus. Um, it is an awesome thing, and he just needs a really good drill to add another solar panel, and it's going to be even more awesome. So, um, the bus idea has already been floated and we actually maybe we'll even build more buses it'll be fun so um anyway yeah so this is 50 wall street um yeah look up mobilebroadcastnews.com uh 50 no i'm sorry i'm sorry 50 broadway it's not 50 wall street it's 50 broadway um 12th floor uh yes 50 broadway 12th floor and uh this is going to apparently be a space for working groups which need space to be able to operate out of the space and it should be a very sustainable uh, winter um, environment and um, the uh, so it, it will be a production yes it will be a production whatever you're talking about it will be a production 50 Broadway and there is scaffolding outside so I assume if the SWAT team comes in we can climb down on the scaffolding um, let me see okay I'll try turning up your audio uh, sorry yeah always let me know uh, uh, did it? okay that's pretty good. All right. Um, so let's uh, let's check it out. So yes, mobilebroadcastnews.com. Yeah, Flux. I was just hanging out with by the Flux bus earlier, and uh, it was cool. So um, Flux Rostrum is our friend. Um, you may have seen him lurking around, rocking uh, dreadlocks and uh, awesomeness, and uh, having a very good sense of um, the flow of events. Um, he's a great videographer and a good friend and all around cool guy. So, um, I just want to show you guys this new office, which um, has uh, just been established. Um, yes, there will still be media in the park, um, but we, uh, obviously, all the different working groups, this is not simply uh, intended for media. I have no idea what dibs um, the official media working group of the General Assembly can get in this space. I, I don't know what the process is. Um, I've just stumbled in here tonight. but. I think everybody is happy about it, and I think, um, did you hear the other groups they mentioned? I don't know. Yeah, we don't actually, this is just, this apparently has just been happening, so we don't exactly know, um, what the circumstance is here, um, but, uh, nonetheless, I, I feel very positive about it, and it appears to be, uh, a project of the General Assembly and other cool cats, so I think it is very solid. So, we're kind of in the back corner right now. And um, I am going to, uh, yes, I am Hong Kong Suzy Q2. Um, what was that other space with the asbestos in the corners? Um, uh, yeah, I've been in New York for a while, Coyote. Um, this is the fourth, uh, uh, this, is, this is my fourth Monday in town. Um, but uh, yeah, so I think I'm probably going to head home soonish um, and then cycle back through town again. I don't, I don't think I'm going to stay here for another like three weeks. I need to take a break myself. Um, yeah, so media in park as satellite broadcast and team in the space to provide media reports. I think hopefully, you know, something along those lines would be good. Um, and, uh, I'm just gonna text my family member. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get them. Sorry, I, sorry, you gotta give me, cut me a little slack. I've been blowing off my family, especially, um, one member in particular, uh, 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 I just wanna tell, I'm sorry, I just have to tell them I am. Live now. Tune in. Sorry, gotta do it. And then I'll show you guys what's going on. Okay, sorry about that, guys. So, um, let's take a look. Uh, it, it appears we're adjacent to some kind of weird, like, gutted server room as well. So, maybe with luck, we'll get a big fat internet pipe. I think it would be great if we set up a green screen studio in here, but I have no idea what's gonna happen. I don't know who funded this. I'm not exactly sure how this all came about. 
So let's take a walk around. So you can see out here, they got some scaffolding out in the window. Um, cause you can't really see it too easily, but this is Broadway down here. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, here, we'll, uh, we'll check it out. So there's a server room of some sort back over here. I don't actually know if this is part of the space. I don't want to try to un undo the door, but it does give me hope that maybe we can get a decent uh, internet in there. But yeah, I feel like we could cram a green screen over there. Um, we're looking at other spaces as well. So this is, you're going to be spotted. Ooh, uh, so, oops, focus. Come on, focus. So yeah, so this is a huge, like this is just a back room. Um, I completely lost my focus. Um, yeah, that's a server room. I, uh, again, I don't actually know if the server room is part of this or not. It has a door. Come on. There it goes. Okay. So, yeah. So, anyway. So, this is the back room. Got a carpet. Got some, some of that. Um, yeah. So, this is out in the main area. Got a little kitchen going on here. Got your regulation sheets. Got a sink. Not bad. Um, there's these like side room offices. Get that there. Little shelves. All right. And they got this other space back here. And uh, so, there's another one here. Whoop. Some kind of messages here. Um, kind of cool. Let's go. Alright. So, I think it was getting rolled in. Whoa. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's mine. Let me get that anyway. Oh. Not a good place to start. Sorry. sorry. That looks good. A little PA situation. Alright, so this is kind of cool. Ah, this focus went bad. Yeah. Let's get kind of cubicle zone over here. Pretty cool. Got a cubicle space. And uh, the Wi Fi seems really good right now. I'm on the Wi Fi. So, yeah. And again, I don't know what like the official deal is here, but clearly it's uh, it's looking pretty cool. Like this space is going to be allocated with all the real working groups. Um, and so, yeah. So then. Oh, man. Are people go really up. not into this? Is this like a big thing that people aren't into? But but the reality is like, no, everyone's into this. So here's out towards the entrance side. We'll get some drills going on. Cool. I didn't even notice this before. It's pretty sweet. So, yeah. So this is this uh, entryway. Another, another space over here. Day 52? Oh my god. Sign it. Wow, oh nice. One more space up in here. Pretty cool. Come on, focus. Um, no, I do not think we can see the park from the windows. Um, this is the view down the 12th floor, TGI Fridays. Um, yeah. So, yep, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, usually we peer out in the hallway for a second. Uh, hallway. Kind of a fairly generic looking office hallway. 12th floor. Um, yeah. So, yes, this, I think the server room, Roasted Coyote, I think the server room is something that has been vacated. So, come on. There you go. Yeah, but... Not too shabby. I vote that we disband this, this meeting. And that's easy. I was like, okay. Anybody want to disband? Okay, if so, do. Yeah. So, these guys are getting things ready. Don't want to bug them. But, yeah, overall, not too bad. So, here we are back at the back. We started again. So, so yeah, this space, um, basically for the working groups. I don't know how um, how many square feet it has, but it's pretty expansive. I mean, could you estimate the square feet here? I'm very bad with these things. I'd say yeah. this is probably around two, three thousand square feet. Yeah, yeah, somewhere in the two to maybe low threes. 
And again, I this is this mysterious server room. I have no idea. I really doubt this is actually part of our space. But it does look sort of cool. It's been all stripped. It's clearly like they've it's like it looks like an internet startup that collapsed over here, or something like that. I don't know. Kind of cool looking though. So, uh, yeah, I think it's supposed to be used for the working groups and uh, places that need office space, parts that need office space. I don't know if this is, um, I don't know if this was donated or if it was um, uh, made official through a spending thing. I don't remember a big spending item going through for this, so I guess we can maybe suggest it. This was donated? Okay. So, all right, so the word is that this was donated. Um, also, um, yeah, so, so that's that, I guess. Um, so I heard that uh, Drew wanted to update us on what uh, Tech Ops is up to. So um, I'm going to leave the circuit open for a minute, and uh, we're going to go. Um, Drew, I, do you want to talk right now? OK. <coughs> so Drew's going to uh, talk with us. So I'm actually going to flip the computer around, because this is not logical. Oh, cool. So <laughs> and so we're, so we're, live, live, we're live right now. Oh, hello world. Yeah, we have a uh, whopping 187 oh, viewers. Oh man! So, so it's pretty I'm massive. Like internet famous now. You are internet famous so now. Like you got a server room behind you, so you get double bonus points for this whole thing. Cool. So, so um, what's going on? Well, I it's it's funny because I just did a big state of tech blog post on internet.nycga.net. Nice. So there's been a lot of... Um, I'll type that in if the message limit doesn't fuck me up. Yeah, man, there's, there's some cool stuff going on. Um, there are a lot of talented people doing a lot of really super sweet stuff. Um, here with the New York General Assembly, we have NYCGA.net. This is our social network for social change. Um, <clears throat> this allows groups to better communicate, to upload their own um, events and stuff. Doing it all open source on GitHub. Um, just GitHub. Yeah, yeah. Go, yeah. Go there. Yeah. Um, go to internet.nycga.net, and you can you should be able to find all the things you need to uh, check out the code and, and start getting involved. Uh, and I'm uh -huh. a call, call. Yeah. So I can't even type that right now because um, of this stupid message limit glitch on our channel. Eh. But um, you know, whatever. <coughs> um, it, so yeah. New York City General Assembly. Go yeah. to the site, check it out. So, so what's got, going on? We've got the NYCGA site. That has been packaged and launched in Brooklyn now. And I know that in Jacksonville, outside Jacksonville, is also trying to launch a version of it. Um, it seems like it's working pretty well for them. The drawings are awesome, by the way. Yeah, this is these are great illustrations. Uh, someday I will I will snap a photograph of this. And this is the entire digital strategy, essentially. Wow. So we are, we are rolling out a news aggregation site. Now this is essentially a news wire that will allow, we're gonna, we're, we're, we've collected all these RSS feeds from all the different occupations, all the different news organizations that are covering Occupy Wall Street. We've taken all those RSS feeds and we're plugging them into a back-end system. That mm -hmm. team, um, a yet to be determined team, which you know will naturally will have to be um, some diverse team that has a code of, of ethics and, and is transparent and accountable um, will, will, will work on the back end and tag and sort these different news stories and uh, that which will allow our occupation to narrate a story based on all the news that is that's coming into the entire system. And we'll be able to add and verify different occupations, feeds, and that's a big challenge. There's so much stuff happening in parallel everywhere. Exactly. And so that's a great idea. And we it's want essential. To, yeah, we want to create a newswire where you can go to the site and see what this occupation thinks is important. And then we can deploy this at every occupation. So that every occupation can pull from the same great wealth of feeds. We can all we can all take our take the feeds and then each occupation can draw a narrative. And from that you can see, like, if every occupation posts a certain link, you, know, like, you, can, you can infer that this must be an occupation-wide, must be on the mines, Great. occupation -wide. That's awesome. Yeah, so you can start pulling data out of that. This, we're going to try and launch on OccupyWallStreet.net uh, in the coming days. Um, we, we, we 
have, uh, let's see, uh, you can offer uh, a, a deploy of Yushiki. There's actually ah, uh, yes. some people that have already, already set this up. We're, we're talking with the, with the folks that do it, that really do it. And, and um, you know, they're, they're, we're, we're trying to deploy, I think, in New York and London to begin with. Cool. And this, what Yushahidi is, for anyone that doesn't know, is this, um, and, I, and I wasn't aware of it, it's been used in, um, I think, the, the, like the Congo yeah. and places in Africa where um, elections take place and, and there's lots of violence. And so um, individuals just with, with dumb phones can, can text information that has been plugged into a central database and and, uh, and and pinged on a map, so all the data gets gets thrown up into this into this map and sorted out. So, so it's a really cool portal that lets you do SMS and uh, web interface and all this stuff. But it works great for low tech. It's designed to start with low tech types of places. Exactly, and that's been nice. a big big tech issue. Is is okay? You can make a smartphone app, but right. half the people in the park don't have smartphones. Exactly. If they you know, but if most they people have phones. Have phones. Yeah. But you know, even if, even like. Track phone. Yeah, can still participate and be useful. Exactly. Is it Ushahidi? Ushahidi. Ushahidi. U S H A H I D I. Nice. Intuitive spelling. Yeah. Not like it would do, but part of it. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> I, 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 I have a hard time yeah. typing it in. Um, but that's going to be, you know, that's something where if there is an arrest or something, uh, like the other day I walked past. TV on the street, and I thought if I had YouTube media, I could just be like, boom, something, here's something to pick up, check it out. Yeah. And it would ping it on the map. So it could be used in a wide variety of ways. Um, and then, you know, we start deploying it across across all the occupations, and big events can be, be pinged. So you can go on the Yushiki website, which will be ser serviced in a occupy.net or something. It could be a subdomain or something. A subdomain. You know, it'll, it'll, it'll have a web, web presence. It'll be a, a domain to go to. And you can pull it up and see, like, okay, what events are going on today? And see on the map, there's an action here, there's an action yeah. here. It's very it's geographic intelligence. Yeah. It's very geographical. It's, it's very exciting. I'm, I'm super excited. That's great. I had, I had not heard of this. This is cool. <laughs> That's great for me. <laughs> yeah, so let's see. What else we got? Um, we have uh, a Civi CRM install. We've been currently the outreach and, uh, uh, and movement building uh, working groups are using to begin to build these lists of contact with the occupations. So this means that with this system, and actually Devin can probably talk a little bit more. We're live. Yeah, we're live. You want to talk about Civi CRM? Civi CRM, yeah. We could slide in some more chairs. Oh, yeah. 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 We're, we're, we're on. Tech. on there's, oh. there's 137 million people watching. Right now. <laughs> Half oh, the world. In India. Not yeah. really. But no, no. Let's it's more like a, a maybe 200. Although, let's see, how many do we have? Uh, yeah, one se 173. It's are pretty quiet. Are they, are they, saying they are saying a few things. I could try to keep a watch, an eye yeah. on it. Yeah. So, um, yes. So, uh, yeah. So. So, so Civic CRM, uh, tip tip for the nerds. Civic CRM, wasn't it originated as Bean Space originally? Wasn't that where it came from? Well, no, no, Drupal. There was something else. Bean Space was like a Drupal fork, or I don't know. I feel like it's in the lineage somewhere. It's possible. Yes. If anybody knows the Dean Space Drupal Civic CRM limit. Um, that'd be good. Yeah, we're having we've been having a bug on our live stream channel that's been sort of uh, limiting the message volume sort of inadvertently the last few days. So, um, it's right. It's it's like the best line was that there's not enough cocaine in the world to follow this chat. <laughs> 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 this is just too absurd. Um. So. Uh. Yeah. Let's see. Um. Uh, yeah, so, 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 so Civic CRM, yeah. Yeah, 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 let's, let's break it down. Civi is a, uh, constituent relationship management web, web application that's used by high tens of thousands of nonprofits around the world. Uh, it's used by the New York State Senate to manage relationships with constituents. It's basically, uh, 
a system where when people submit an email address or they make a donation, it, it logs them in the database and then the relationship can be tracked so that uh, you can follow like, how many donations people give, like, their frequency, you know, what people are interested in, you know, what email addresses and what people are interested in, what items, uh, so that you know, we can like, send them mass mail and stuff like that. It's really a, a one to many uh, tool or can be used as one, so people here have been, including myself, have uh, been very cautious about using it and, like, and coming up with a uh, strategy to use it Now you are close. Yeah. I, uh, that should help. So <laughs> everyone does their hair. <laughs> so you can see their hair now. People were actually uh, complaining of receiving robo calls on behalf wow. of uh, Occupy Wall Street. Weird. Did, did anyone else hear about this? No. Yeah. Calls that were like, "All right, blah blah blah, robot, speak. thank you from wow. Occupy Wall Street." Mm, crazy. Very, very strange. Well, that, that, that couple in uh, Long Island who yeah. trademarked Occupy Wall Street should call their legal team and, uh, yeah. and, and get on that. Get that, get that taken care of. I think that money was spent. What kind of douchebag wants to charge that much money, though? I just, um, yeah. Sorry, artist, sir. I just want to have the chat enabled in the hopes that this uh, monstrous thing can keep working. Um, yeah, this chat has been so dodgy lately. Um, but yeah, so uh, yeah, so Civic CRM, um, and what's nice about it is that it Civi Civi or Civ C I V I C R M. Um, it, it, it what's nice about it, it's a it's a Drupal based uh, distribution or sort of well, mega can, module. It can also run on uh, Joomla and and WordPress. Oh, it can run on WordPress now. Recently, recently. Wow. Civi CRM four. Yep. I did not know that. So, um, but it, it's cool in that, like, I think um, you can sort of distribute the permissions to some extent and kind of hopefully have a, a more, like, horizontal kind of, uh, a, a more, um, uh, I don't know, horizontal. You want to try to parcel yeah. out permissions as much as you can. Yeah, you, you, can do, I mean? you can do very specific permissioning in the system. Yeah. Uh, so we could, you know, one of the questions is, you know, getting a CIVI up isn't the hardest thing in the world, but it's definitely not the easiest. So there, there, there's some demand from other occupations who have connected with us to let them, you know, to basically like provide them with city service, hmm. uh, which is something that you know, I, I guess is great. I mean, if they want it, we should provide it, and if we can provide it, we should provide it. Hmm. Uh, but you know, that just like creates more names in the database and it creates more. Names. So one person says they've had two of these robo calls in California in the last few days. They are in complete support of you. I wonder if that's like a thing the Democrats are doing in the campaign cycle, or like rebuild the American dream, or these other sort of move on spinoff cast or something like that. Like who knows? I, you know, I heard the, you know, one story was that like, yeah, the Democrats are going to try to run on this type of message, basically. Be like, yeah, we will stick it to the bank. And like, all right, sure, Democrats. And, uh, I, I think they're going to be sorely disappointed with <laughs> yeah. how people, uh, I mean, the general, like, I have not heard anyone talking about, even, like, elections. Like, I, I've heard people saying, like, we've got to stop the Republicans. Like, I've heard one or two people, but, I mean, I, you know, I, I think there are, they're actually move on. Organizers here paid for paid by Move On, uh -huh. who like are in working groups, who like we work with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, so and they do and they do good work, uh -huh. and they don't mention it at all. And they're like they're asking me, you know, they ask me questions about liberty. <laughs> 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 you know, like I think I think that I think that it's pretty. People are becoming increasingly aware of how far any mainstream politician is from being even close to reasonable about any issue. Uh, yeah. I think, I mean, from the from the technology group, uh, 
we look forward to uh, providing the public with uh, fantastic like open source tools, fantastic free tools, uh, free technologies that exist out there that the media is not talking about, no. and, and empowering people, you know, and just by raising awareness about Linux, Drupal, uh, yeah. you know, what MediaWiki is, what Moodle is, course management, Vista, healthcare management. I mean, there are free technical solutions for, for basically all the things we need to run really effective society, but you don't hear about it because corporations don't want you to know about free software. Yeah, well, if you know about free software, then you're going to start running your own yeah. shit. You don't need to take it from anybody else. Right, and well, it has to do with media corporations and their scheme of intellectual property that they love so much. And uh, I can only hope that as part of the OWS movement, we can uh, challenge the stranglehold of this fake <laughs> baby boomer concept hey. uh, on our, the horror whole society. Would you guys... Yeah. Personally, oh, as individuals, I'll, sure. twink, I'll twinkle that. Yeah, for sure. And and you know, and I think we spent that's a perfect segue into the uh, the freedom uh, tower that is in the shadow of the freedom tower right nice. now. <laughs> uh, and Devin can probably give a better uh, explanation. Yeah, I mean, so the, the freedom tower is basically. I don't know if some people have heard about the freedom box. Uh, the freedom box is a, uh, a Linux distribution, uh, a Debian pure blend. Uh, that uh, nice. basically, it's basically an intelligent router, software wow. for intelligent routers that allows you to make P2P connections, so connections from your router directly to someone else's router without going through the conventional internet and all the ISPs. Uh, and that software... So it's, it's an it's a ad hoc mesh router platform? An ad hoc mesh router platform. All right. Yeah. Uh, like how do you say that in English? Well, okay. Uh, well, it, it's like um, uh, we had to use this, I think, at the U.S. Social Forum, actually, mm -hmm. where essentially because, um, you know, down at the end of the hallway, you, let's say you have no internet connection, right? And so you set up a mesh router at the far end, and then over here is the server room, and then that's actually connected to the internet. And so the mesh routers will find a connection to each other and establish that, and then hand out internet far away, and then route the packets wirelessly or whatever back out to the internet. So in that way, you can have these routers sprinkled around and then push back up to kind of up either one or perhaps even several links out to the internet, roughly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, and so what the Freedom Tower is, is basically kind of the hardware components necessary for the Freedom Box to become like a, a serious wireless uh, network delivering device. And it also, it's, and it's got its own more powerful server, so it actually can run services off of off the tower. So if the internet goes down, uh, the mesh network can basically have its own, uh, you know, the intranet can, can survive nice. and people can use it to communicate. And we're going to increasingly be able to add more and more services to that. So the Freedom cool. Tower, the Freedom Tower actually connects to a, a, a free, you know, it uses uh, the internet to create a, 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 a VPN, VPN tunnels with other Freedom Towers. Uh, around the country at, at other occupations, so we can get pretty secure communication between all uh, or between the occupations that are participating. And this is a program that we we, uh, we hope to uh, extend to lots and lots of other occupations, and basically build the free wireless mesh network that we really should have right now. But some folks would right. rather have branding campaigns and try to sell everybody fifty dollar a month internet. Then uh, just transfer that. I mean, right. Well, and I, I just want to throw this in. Like one day, the, the FCC guys came to take public comment about net neutrality in Minneapolis, and I just said, "Look, guys, if people could resell their internet connections using routers that were designed correctly, and then they could basically resell out those little chunks, we could have like four cable modem subscriptions for a whole apartment building, and everybody would be pretty happy, and you'd save everyone would save tons of money because you're you're reallocating." But they always say, no, no, that's against the service rules. You can't use a smart router to redivide your internet or combine it together or whatever. They yeah. just say, no, you can't do that. And it's like, come on, man, you know? And yeah. It's another aspect of this control system. Yeah, I mean, we should be paying, like, $5 a month for that. Yeah. You know? I mean, if we're talking about dollars, we're talking about paying for stuff, like, we should be paying, like, one-tenth of what we're paying for that. And the technology is there to do it. In fact, you could probably do it even a lot cheaper. Uh, but... As we all know, the corporations have control of the FCC. The corp yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty blah, sick. Blah, 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 blah. blah, 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 blah. Yeah, um, yeah. Okay, here's a question. Uh, what about any use of a diaspora for social networking? Has that been uh, discussed? Mm. 
Yeah, I think, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely, when I first came here, I definitely wanted, wanted, to, wanted to organize uh, Diaspora Day. Drop your Facebook and join Diaspora Day. Uh, yeah, some people within the tech group are really for it. Other people say Diaspora doesn't have the, the, the technical wherewithal to support that, uh, you know, lots of activity, and it's not, it's not going to be the platform of the future. Uh, so, you know, I think, I mean, I don't care whether, or not, I mean, personally, I like Diaspora, I'm on Diaspora, I want all my friends to be on Diaspora for now, if the tech can't hold up, <coughs> let's, let's, let's make it fail quick, yeah. uh, and let's test it out, but yeah, I mean, yeah. I'd love to, you know, once, once we've got kind of the Occupy.net services up, which is what we've been working on uh, quite a bit, uh, which is, you know, a bunch of stuff that we can talk about, but, um, you know, once we get into phase two, which, like, we have the services, that the basic services we need, I definitely kind of do a lot of, uh, Organize a lot of stuff and like that. Like we should explain for people that aren't familiar with that. Like b basically, the idea is it's an open source project that's been going for a while, and they wanted to make it so that people could run different di diaspora servers, and then you can kind of have your personality profile represented across different servers. So it's not like you're in Facebook where there's one company that controls your whole freaking life and all your data. It's distributed, so you could have it. You could be on a server that was more private or one that was more public. You have some some choices. It gives you some choice, and it kind of works as a map. So yeah. rather than than telling Facebook, okay, this information is private, this information is public, you have the trusted server where your private information is, and then you have the broader like, public spread out around where you want. That's nice. interesting. That's cool. cool. All right, now guys, uh, we're, my, my microphone is a little bit janky, so be sure to speak loudly because I don't quite understand why it's being janky. So oh, are people, people, I was, yeah, they're sort of complaining like that I'm loud enough, which is nothing new. But um, you know, <laughs> yeah. Our, but yeah, you guys may not be. All right, so, well, I'll and, try and, to speak and also I might have uh, fucked up my settings because I was able, I was able to patch. Can we curse on this? Was that we can curse? On oh this? yeah, we can curse as much ah, as we want. Fuck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the FCC can't touch us now, nice. but but. Um, but I was able to uh, rig it up into the WBAI. We do Occupy Wall Street Radio five nights a week oh, now. Oh, no way. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know about this Well, stuff. we just got started. It's like the 10th episode. I've, have you spoken with Austin? I just no, called no. Austin, and they said that they have, like, radio. Like, they are, like, they are. Utica's doing radio. Yeah, I, really, I want to connect Austin and Utica and, and get them. Well, we have together. to tie all this stuff together. It, it, it would be great. But but yeah, it's been very fun. WBAI has been very nice to us. And we're on at uh, 6.30 to 7, five nights a week now. And we just got started. I've been wanting to kind of drag all you tech guys uh, into it to kind of get the word around about it. And so I'd love, today, I think yeah. that's great. I mean, because that's part of the message. Is that you got you to spread the gospel. Uh, yeah. Like, hey, everything you pay for, is better and free. Yeah, it's you're being ripped off massively, and we can we can tell yeah. that to people on a fifty thousand watt station. Yeah. Yeah. So there's there's static. I, I mean, I think this is actually the microphone that's on the webcam, but I mean, because it's this thing is so odd sometimes. It because this is the system microphone, and it is not. And the, and the, and the, and it's like fans. See, this is you can, you can see I'm tapping. I don't know. It, it's fucking annoying. I, we gotta test this some more. It's pretty annoying. We gotta get that. What's going on? We're up on the live stream, hanging out. This is this is Dan. This is the live stream. Yeah, this is the live stream. I think, I think hey, live. What do you guys do with this? Uh, we're just sort of uh, introducing people to this space, which we don't know too much about, and sort of having a little <laughs> tech talk and talking about what's going on with the internet group. So, if you want to lay it out, you're welcome to say whatever you want. Uh, yeah, you can curse on here. Yeah. No Wait, problem. you're allowed to curse? Yeah. Oh, yes. Stream? You will not be kicked off. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> you will not be sued. I was just hitting up the leisure caucus. The nap. leisure caucus. I'm take a nap. Okay. What, tell, talk to the people the nap there. caucus. <laughs> Yeah. All right, yeah. So, uh, yeah, there's kind of a flow of people uh, coming in and out of this place, uh, hanging out, getting things established. It's uh, moving the right way. So, hey, what is the news, news aggregation? News aggregation. Yeah, how is that? What uh, platform is that all on? All right, so we've got a managing news Drupal distribution. Ah, yeah, uh, managing news is managing the shit. News. Yeah, that's great. You know, Good news. I've Good been news, I've been man. on that. I've been talking about that for a long time. I've been trying to get it up. I think tonight we actually might get it up officially. Uh, we're gonna have, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I know. I've been talking about RSS feeds it's forever. Great. Everyone's like, oh, social networks and RSS feeds. 
so yeah, so the man, so we should have news dot occupy dot net as like just a, a news feed with authenticated occupations, uh, with you know, because the the movement building group is working on a, a system for like authenticating that an occupations feed. It really represents uh, their uh, you know is representative of the occupation. Uh, so we're gonna have authenticated occupation news feeds. I'll uh, come uh, we're gonna have uh, you know, basically just like ag RSS aggregates will be. Will be. Yeah, it, it, it okay. keeps bouncing chat limits and stuff. So is it occupy.net? Is that it the will, short? It will be, but can it's not use, there yet. Can we use racial it's almost slurs? there. We've tried not to because that no is racial uh, slurs? well, that's against mutual respect. Uh -huh. I mean, we're trying to reach you know so unity, equality, mutual respect. You know, and so. I mean, because you could say you're a fucker, and that's also not very respectful, right? right. And I so, could say you're a white fucker. Well, yeah, that would also just again not be respectful. Yeah, and so, so that's our right. goal. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like that's that, that's really what it's all about. Being so, um, yeah, we're trying to be respectful. Okay, so um, we yes, uh, one yeah, right. We also like Django. So we've got. Have we talked about the perma bank at all? Anyone we have not talked bank? about the perma bank. Um, and. And like one love for all. I mean, uh, the issue with the media team stuff is just it's just simply like the other uh, people that are well. There's a lot of people doing media, but they need to operate collectively with the consent of the general assembly, um, and they can't lay claim to the resources of the whole movement if they are not um, duly authorized by the general assembly and handling their affairs that way. I think, in a nutshell, that is the issue. So that, I mean, that that is basically the issue. So okay, let's talk about the perma bank. Um, let's, uh, yeah, and let's, so, let, cause are you guys going out for a sig? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I, I can talk hey, about hey, the perma bank. Great. Uh, so the perma bank is basically, it's a, it's a Python Django piece of software. It's going to expand hopefully a lot over time. Uh, but the idea is what if we used information technology, especially open source information yeah, technology, uh, to provide people with financial services, uh, you know, using the wisdom that has arisen out of like permaculture. So I don't know if everyone here is familiar with permaculture, but it's basically a, a systems design, the systems design, like a systems approach to making abundant landscapes, natural landscapes, and really like managing managing land, uh, managing natural resources. Uh, and permaculture has got a lot of great principles. Uh, one of the best is. Uh, you know, keep the water high <laughs> on the on the landscape. I mean, it's really funny stuff. Uh, I can go through the permaculture principles, or I could try to. I, I got my permaculture design certificate, that's not even right there. But basically, like, it's a cool philosophy, though. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a design philosophy. philosophy. I'm a big fan of the word design, and permaculture is a is a design philosophy that is culturally holistic. It's not a bunch of uh, fucking uh, you know buzzword type stuff. And so, um, yeah. And so, uh, artister, let's. There's this whole there's this whole debate going on because essentially there's another affinity group that that does like a live stream and uh -huh. they've been kind of like sort of quasi saying that they're official and kind of absorbing resources that are actually intended for the uh, official GA yeah exactly yeah. and so um, not use names on yeah well I mean I don't like want to get too personal about yeah, it but yeah. it's just like if you want to run a collective which is rep which is represented in the GA then you can lay claim to being official. If you just want to hang out in the park and do a live stream, that's fine, but do not claim that you're like the official media, you know, group yeah, of the movement. Nice. It, it's pretty straightforward, really. So, um, yeah, that's that. I think that's basically in a nutshell. So I'm hoping we can um, just uh, lay that out. I mean, they're hanging out, yes. I, I would say that, you know, everybody's hanging out, kind of doing their thing. And th I think the other media team is hanging out and they're doing video work and we're doing video work, but they don't operate as a collective under the GA. Yeah, so that, that's just in, in a nutshell. I mean, what more do you want to hear? Yeah, and uh, I mean, from my perspective, we watched, you know, I when I first got involved with the occupation, I like hung out a bit with the media team and everyone, and it seemed like they were super busy doing a lot of stuff. And then a lot of them spun out and became independent and took money and did stuff stuff that wasn't in the yeah. interest of the collective. Well, uh, and that pissed, I mean, you know, mm -hmm. I, I've been hanging out in the internet land 
and like you know, you know how it goes. that's cool. That's how it goes. Though. I mean, it's anarchy. I'm I'm a big fan of uh, the anar- of the anarchy. So like you know that's the Why way not? it goes. Like it got us this far, right? It got us this far. Yeah. <laughs> and like at the end, you know, the what wheat from the chaff and whatnot, right, right. like takes place. But uh, it's it's definitely there's definitely a difference between folks who feel like they're they're responsible for the GA and the occupation and folks who use that use it as a good source of content. Yeah, and people that want to operate collectively and people that want to operate in hierarchy. There's that that is a working group is a collective, and if you are not a if you're not going to operate collectively, then you won't be a working group. And now we've kind of uh, turned the um, discussion into this instead of tech, unfortunately. All right, so I mean, just questions about permaculture. Uh, permaculture, I believe, you know, honestly, I, I, I got my design certificate, but I, I just, I've only gotten into permaculture the last six months. But basically, uh, it was created in Australia by a bunch of folks who really had natural resource constraints because in Australia you get desert, you get like serious water shortages and whatnot. And they really took the time to catalog and think about how. You know how people can like use the resources that they have to create, you know, an abundant landscape. So they, they it, 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 permaculture is kind of like permanent agriculture, and the the mission of it is to basically make it possible to be a really lazy farmer. So instead of growing crops that grow, you know, instead of planting crops that like that you harvest once and you have to plant them again, it's like more like planting like fruit trees and nut trees that are just, you know, when they when they, uh, yeah, we burn, I burn, <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> But, you know, it's planting fruit trees and nut trees, uh, you know, that are going to just, like, o- like over a period of time, just, like, continuously right. give you, give in, you fruit, inter- give you abundance. Interlocking ecosystems that, like, uh, are synchronous. Like, for example, people, another thing people do is, like, they build a chicken coop with a wire mesh on the bottom, cause you, and you just sort of roll it around, and the chicken dropping is, like, uh, they're fixed to nitrogen, right? Yeah. And then you can sort of use that to... And then that yeah, way you don't have a ton of, yeah, so you don't have a ton of animal runoff. Instead, you're distributing it around, and it's a much less damaging thing. Yeah, and the permaculture folks, you know, I, one of the funny things about permaculture is, you know, they view wealth really differently. Uh, instead of like it being a number in a bank account, it's like how many, how many like really effectively managed acres do you have, and how much, you know, how much can you share with your community? How much like, you know, kiwi wine. They love talking about kiwi wine. I don't think I've mm-hmm. ever had it. Mm-hmm. How much kiwi wine, like extra kiwi wine, do you have that you can share, like with the people around you? And how much, like, you know, how much wood are you coppicing so that you can like burn it under your hot tub? I don't know. They've got like some, yeah. But it's like it's sick. So like, if you, you want to get back to okay, so the yeah. Perma Bank is based on this idea. Is it it's yeah? Related, so the, per- right? the Perma Bank. I, I, I do not understand what the Perma Bank. The Perma Bank has been in the works for a while. It's been in the works for a while. The Perma Bank, really simply, right now, version one is just off, uh, just gifts and wishes. So, uh, it's uh, people create a profile. They say what their gifts are, what 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 they gift to people. So it, it's divided into skills. Uh, so like things that people can do, stuff, things people have, and space. You know, spaces that people have access to. Uh, and it's just you know people list what their offers are, or you know what their gifts are, what their wishes are, and uh, and then you know people can make transactions doing that, and then they can record transactions uh, in notes. And they make notes to each other, and then we're you know, and then you know, once we have that gift platform down, we're going to start getting into uh, additional like alternative currency functionality. We're going to explore time banking. Nice. Uh, we're going to explore nice. uh, you know, just like really like lots of like lightweight points, currencies, just like the gamification of the economy yeah. uh, in general. Bingo. Yeah, yeah, I like that. That's a great way to look at it because. Currency is, uh, is kind of used as a measure of trust, right? Like exchange yeah. relations are, and trust are related. And so if you trust that something can be redeemed later, you trust the fact when you're accepting it now. And so when the, the big breakout in alternative currency this year has been Bitcoin, which like I think as a proof of concept, right? It, what I liked about Bitcoin was that I it like uses the part. hash codes, right, to represent transactions. And it's very similar to Git, which also uses those hash codes to represent transactions. Funny. So, so using mm-hmm. hashes to have transaction change was something that people were already getting familiar with with Git, and then they use the same in Bitcoin. And so as a proof of concept, it's pretty, it's pretty good. Like, yeah. it, 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 technically speaking, it's like the clients need to work, the security has to be you know, super tight, and it's just attracted all kinds of malicious hacking to it, as you would expect, right? But still, it's, uh, it was a good proof of concept and moving the right way. And so you could maybe uh, see a similar like hash data uh, system, especially if this kind of intranet 
um, system in the park was actually functional. You might get your message bounced, so... Um, oh, wow, that actually works. Uh, um, yeah, so yeah, A, open source ecology, very cool. I've, I Actually, before the occupation, I was helping the, those guys out a lot with, like, on the communication side and trying to get them meeting the right people and using internet technologies appropriately. Uh, but, yeah, Bitcoin's great. And, and in New York, we have access to, like, a lot of very, very serious uh, Bitcoin developers. And, and, and the Bitcoin, nice. pro yeah, and they've, they've come out. And I, I went to the original really? Bitcoin, the first Bitcoin uh, conference, which was cool. a lot of fun. It was fun. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I was selling silver rounds. <laughs> Not selling. Selling, maybe. Yeah. Uh, silver rounds of Bitcoin. Bitcoin emblems uh, wow. in them that my, my friend started a little, you know, a mint to do that. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, yeah, it was, I it was amazing. Like, Bitcoin I had no idea. Silver. That's yeah, hardcore. Bitcoin and silver. Yeah, it's hardcore. <laughs> but, um, we have some silver fans that are regulars on the chat. Do so. we? Yeah, 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 silver. And, and uh, yeah, the Silver Liberation Front. Yeah. Or army or yes. whatever. Yes, yes. JP, the J, crash the JP Morgue and everything. Right? Yeah, I love that stuff. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, but so, yeah, so I mean, I think we're gonna. So we can do that. You could, act, in theory, you could have that here. If this, if this local network was working, everyone could have like a gift econ, a, an economy of sorts running where there were devices that were trading essentially OWS uh, Bitcoin style yep. tokens. Oh yeah. And then, and this then you could have these network. points of contact, and since they would all be relatively close in touch with the uh, wireless network in the space, you could actually execute those transactions. Yeah, we got some Max Kaiser. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We uh, we had the message bounce here. We're getting message limit, but yeah, of course we think Max Kaiser is hilarious. Yeah, we, I, I saw him. I saw him speak. He came to oh, New York. Nice. No, like like a few months ago, <laughs> and I great. and I handed him an OSC, an Open Source Ecology flyer. Nice. And him and his girl and uh, what's her name, Katie? Uh, Stacy Herbert. Stacey, yes. Stacy Herbert. Yeah. Yes. Oh, they're the best. Yeah. They, no, absolutely. Max Me Kaiser. Too. You know, he's you know because he, he, Max Kaiser. Um, is so right about you know the the banker fail and this whole idea and like you know what are you gonna do about it like raise some hell you know so it's it resonates with a lot of people yeah um, and, and he's funny yes but but yes. to go back go back to the Bitcoin thing I mean the primary goal of the Bitcoin core developers is uh, to make it easy for other people to make Bitcoin derivatives so like other other you know yes. use use the Bitcoin technology yes. to create their own. Bitcoin that is not going to, I mean, if other people create more Bitcoins, it's actually going to push the price of Bitcoin down. So all these people are like, oh, Bitcoin is a, uh, a scam. A bubble. Scam. A bubble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a pump and dump. Scheme. It's a pump, pump and dump. That's the idea. Such bullshit. It's just, it's fantastic cryptographic technology. And like their it's mission. It's a proof of concept. Yeah, it's a proof of concept. Their mission is to make it accessible so that other people can create their currencies. It's like having a multi-million dollar printing press on your computer and it can be, you know, anyone can use it. Yes. So I mean, it's super disruptive technology that we plan to use to disrupt. Yeah, this, the Federal Reserve and its arbitrage of credit in our society. I, Eat that. I can't even. We don't know, even. The Fed is just like so oh, bad. I can't. It's such even, a rip off. Uh, it's it, such a rip it's off. It's right around the corner, and it's such. A, it's ripping us all off. Yeah. Okay. Um. So. Okay. After hanging out with you guys, I'm not going to tell my 13 year old to get off the computer. Nice. Well, well, teach your 13 year old how to use a version control software like Git. You know, I think that if you guys get into that stuff. Um, it's a it's a great it's a, it, it could be yeah Git, Git is in in and of itself an incredibly valuable G I T it's a it's a version control software it's becoming very popular so we're all over the place I think they went out for cigarettes um, so yeah Git uh, so um, shit I had another good point oh Namecoin right that's Namecoin. one of the first spinoffs right so that's the thing about Bitcoin is it's a proof of concept. But you can use it as a transaction system for, for anything else. That, like, it could be backed by anything. Like, Bitcoins aren't backed by anything except their forward tradability. But Namecoin, essentially, I think the way it works, if I recall, you, you, use, you buy with one Bitcoin an entry uh, in the system, and then, and then it's a DNS entry that you then just have to maintain using a public private key. You got, it, right? you got it better than I do. Yeah, it's a cool <laughs> idea. You buy, you buy a DNS entry in a distributed DNS system, and that gets around the problem that the feds are doing, which is they're trying to top down all the DNS. Like, all their latest internet censorship bills are all about forcing ISPs to drop DNS entries, basically, because they they believe in their oblivious baby boomerness, right? That by strong arming the DNS system and injecting it with fail, that that will actually uh, keep people from being able to find shit, right? Yeah. But it's total fail because you can always find another DNS, and so with 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 the DNS, a Bitcoin uh, or sorry, Namecoin based system, 
you can have a totally distributed DNS where, where uh, the representation of what IP address goes to which name is carried as a transaction and sort of held out there in a network so there's no single point of failure. And so in that way, as long as you keep renewing that your, your, your name point DNS entry, mm -hmm. it can't be killed. And so it, it's again, it's another proof of concept. And you can and now you can trade name points for Bitcoin, and you can mine more name points by verifying name point transactions. But that's another example of a spin-off That's a, a fork. It's it's a fork. I think it's a fork yeah, on Git. Yeah, and on so Bitcoin. yeah, yeah. So so um, yeah. So name coin is uh, okay. you know yeah. On it for Christmas. You're getting Git for Christmas. It's okay. Git is free. You can get it for free for Christmas. Yeah, but give it to all your friends. Give it to all your friends. Yeah, get, get, <laughs> get, and GitHub. We will type in GitHub because it's an awesome website. They yeah. Everything's on GitHub. Ah, bounced. We're, on, GitHub. we're on GitHub. If you go to github.com slash FLO, free Libre open, FLO solutions. Or, or FLO solutions. Yeah, github.com slash flow solutions. You'll see a bunch of code. From all the projects that we're working on, great. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Open source, open source is it? Yeah, the solution. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So um, I guess we've been going for like 50 minutes here. Is there is there other major sort of? And the, the guys are back. Um, are there other tech stories? Because I've been wanting to sort of check yeah. in with you tech guys and I mean, track I think, you down. So. I think that the, the the general premise is that like we're probably too arrogant. Uh, because we think that using like the abundant open source technology environment that exists and like and the ability to uh, recruit people because they love the occupation we're in New York so we're in a central location we think we can recreate basically all of the technology that people need uh, that you know to, to live their life so like you know we're gonna go we're gonna do Google you know we're gonna provide With Google example. style services we're gonna we're gonna we're, you know, we have a, a, a Zimbra mail system up. Uh, that's just just came up today. We're gonna test it out a bit, make sure it works. But you know, we could be providing Gmail style services uh, to folks. Um, we're, you know, the thing is, everything. There's open source versions of everything. We can do it all. So you know, including the banking stuff, including the financial stuff. And honestly, where this is all gonna end is like people on land, <laughs> gratuitous hiccups, doing doing permaculture and having gratuitous hiccups because they're so excited, <laughs> right? Okay. Is, that, is that an excitement hiccup? That's a, uh -oh. that's a menthol smoking Ouch. pickup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, in the same sense that this park provided an example for people that, like, just took, took a life of its own, you know, it's it, the open, I mean, the, the, the idea that, that the space was set up, right, and that took on a life of its own, we can do the same with these open source technologies that have been evolving that are, you know, at a, at a, basically a working stage. They're not polished or packaged yet necessarily, but they're out there, you know what I mean? And, and, and so we can, we can introduce people to these texts and, 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 and <laughs> as an example, as an example of how you can do this stuff yourself in your own community. People were asking a little bit more about the mesh routers. Can we speak a little bit to, is it, is it open, is it WRS, is it, or is it zero, zero shell? It's totally theoretical, it doesn't exist yet for common interfaces. Yeah, like so. Like the uh, OLBM and the mm -hmm. uh, mesh networking stuff that yeah. exists yeah. so far. They don't have the yeah. client interfaces, you can hook it up to your Linux box, your Windows box, and your Mac box. Mm -hmm. so it's like proprietary installations. But um, you can build, you can take like the DDWR, you can take the WRT54 routers and you can load up. You know, I'm about I have no idea what you're talking about. It's not available to install on your computer yet, but you can uh, take, for example, the routers, like the, Net the Netgear routers that you have at your house. Yeah. Okay? Those Linksys routers. Yeah, Linksys, Link commodity Linksys routers can be kind of rooted out and you put a new kind of Linux on there and then you can turn it into mesh routers. So you can take these cheap ass routers everybody has and do all this crazy shit with them. It's really nice. Yeah, uh, and right now right now there's uh, Freedom Towers uh, in Liberty Square in Austin, Texas, in Kansas City, and we're building new ones and we're going to just start building lots of them. Uh, we're just going to start building them. And we're gonna, you know, yeah. we haven't even started yeah. talking about robots. Well, the quad drawer, you see that stuff? <laughs> no, robots. Yeah, yeah, the robots are coming too. The new, the new nice. One that we're building tomorrow is gonna have the, uh, the bonding capability put into it. What? We're doing a zero shell. Right? Okay, we're so gonna yeah, try. we're gonna get some zero shell going. Are you these, zero guys, shell? these guys know, know a little bit about what's 
Yeah, yeah. we're gonna zero shell. We get robots. It's gonna be cool. Uh, we we got we gotta work in Arduino boards. Ooh, we gotta, yes, we gotta tie please. that in. Well, actually, there's a there is a good idea that that uh, is a joke concept. I think is really good. It's called the robot activist. So people, <laughs> you, you, send, you send out a fake robot into the streets. You can put remote control to hold your sign for you. The LED tickets. <laughs> so people, people who are too lazy to actually come out and occupy Wall Street. They can send out their little activist. Or robot. or they could yes. have these people with limited mobility. Or oh, you know, man. I actually here's a little bit of a crazy one. I knew somebody in the grad school in like biomechanical engineering at the University of Wisconsin. His team built the brain Twitter interface. And it's like, it literally, so for people that have the locked in uh, reality situation where they're conscious but they can't move, right? The thing is, you can look at a screen as like uh, letters blink across it and there's sort of a pulse that happens 200 milliseconds after an inversion of light at what you're directly looking at. And you can actually pick that up with relatively cheap uh, brain helmets. And then in that way, you can actually like look at a letter and when it blinks, that triggers a signal and you, that makes a letter. And that's the brain Twitter interface. Huh. Hey, I was Drew, promised- you log your computer in? I was promised I could use it later uh, if I showed up there. So it's a little bit insane. Uh, protest by proxy. Um, yeah, so, uh, all right. Um, we, yeah, we, we might be eating, um, uh, well, I mean, Steve, it's it's a concern. It's a concern Occupy Steve that that people are representing themselves as part of an official media uh, team when when they are not, and and that is, and so when people are like, I want to contribute to the to the live stream team of Occupy Wall Street, and and if people are not very clear about who they are, if they're just you know other people doing video work and they aren't part of the official team. Then it's in, in, inappropriate to, uh, to assert resources as if you are contributing to the official team as opposed to the unofficial team. And uh, simply put, that's the argument there. And let me let me. Uh, M D Jelly asks, how long do you think it'll take to transform to the new economy? I think it's a really good question because I think it really is going to be. I think I think people are going to yeah, be able to opt that's into that's it. Uh, that's people that's who are like following along, you know, and people who have like permaculture like skills and who know how to deploy like open source technology, like are going to be able to plug into it and get off the Federal Reserve note. I would like to say within like, I'd like to say, but you know, starting in spring, I'd say three to nine months. I think we'll be able to actually really start removing ourselves from the Federal Reserve note based economy I think within yeah. like a year nice. you could be you know relatively you know some people could actually really be out of it and like helping other people get out of it but like at the end of the day like one of the limiting agents is going to be how many people actually know how to manage land I mean we're in New York we have great natural resources uh, you know an hour away from us two yeah. hours away from us tons of people uh, you know just ton, like tons of people uh, like good transportation options and you can go an hour out, out of here and just completely unmanaged landscapes completely unmanaged landscapes people just like are comp just unaware of how to create wealth from nature people you know people don't like fracking like we need to manage our landscape our, our land our ecosystems to be productive so mm -hmm. that they don't frack it because right now, it's, if it's fracking or just having like unmanaged land where it gets, you know, it, it gets it's bad, it's bad news. So we've really, we've really got to compete with all of you know. We just have to do better yeah. than well, we've the got than the current. Gas. We gotta get an alternative to the fracking. Yeah, we can't. Yeah. The fracking is just absolutely unacceptable. If there's if there's things that people here just like do not like, it's hierarchy and fracking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. <laughs> Ex well, right. Yeah. No, um, yeah. And fracking it definitely has a lot of traction around here. You know, it's one of the, probably one of the, I would call it one of the top dozen yeah. issues that are rolling around. There's, oh, yeah. In the East Coast, people are so affected by it. And, and tar sand. <laughs> and oh, tar sand. Gosh. Uppity. Uppity. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. What are these guys thinking? I mean, yeah. I don't yeah, know. You, you, can, you can have like, what is it, like, uh, you know, how many tons for a barrel of oil? Uh, it's, it's obscene. Yeah. Um, Oh wow, herself fracking. My son did it. It's bad. Shortened his life, says herself. I'm really sorry to hear that. Uh, so much of this work in the oil and gas industry exposes a lot of really horrible, uh, toxic, uh, you know, uh, exposures that nobody's held accountable for. It's really disturbing. They're both fracking miserable. Yeah. Um, uh, I had some other points. Well, oh right. Well, you know, another thing that would be cool to see in this city is like urban greenhouses and yeah. whatnot. Like like uh, greenhouses on rooftops. Like you, you sort of live in a twilight down here on the street level. I've been getting used to that the last few weeks I've been here. Especially in that park. Yeah, yeah. That the Zuccotti Park is is in a twilight, a perpetual twilight. But but. You could put greenhouses on top of these buildings, and those would actually capture heat to lower the bill and allow uh, fresh produce to be produced. 
And since so much of the food price comes from transportation, you would really increase food security for everybody with very short transportation. So yeah, it's, 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 a, it's like a triple win. Yeah, it's the best symbolic action to have Nick was saying that we have already decided to act with my Wall Street, that we should find the stock program and the other should yeah, finally something productive would be there. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I mean, the south, the south face of every high rise should have window farms. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, solar uh, powered hydroponic. Farms. Yeah. And oh, hey, I wanna. Let's see. Talking, we wanna get on the live stream. Oh, 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 you got a bunch of fans. <laughs> okay. Yeah. See, I just want to put in a oh. plug for miiu.org, which is the. Have you looked at that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know yeah. those guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's John Robb, Global Gorillas, yeah. and all of this stuff. Because yeah, that yeah. ties into all of this stuff. Open so Source funny. Rebellion and the yeah, whole fun. Yeah. There's a lot of fun buzzwords we can trade about all this. Yeah, yeah. But, but, but I was. Before this all started, I had been writing a little bit on miiu.org, uh -huh. just sort of organizing, cool. sort of fiddling around. But there's a good page on vertical gardens in there, I think, as, as well as permaculture, yeah. too. So they, uh, yeah, that's a great website about it, um, and uh, I really recommend, it, it means me to you, and it's about resilient communities, and it has a lot to do with permaculture, it has a lot to do with the idea that we shouldn't live under parasitic and unstable systems, instead we should have, you know, tribes, so to speak, is one way to look at it, um, and that kind of resilient type of community. Tribes while we're, while we're at it. Right, yeah, tribes without tribalism. Nice. P2P Foundation is also real good. And uh, Apropedia.org. Nice. Yeah, what's cool. the, did you talk about the Open Ecology Project? Yeah, they actually, people here were like, hey, you guys like Open Source Ecology? Yeah. yeah, yeah, Open Source Ecology is great. Build your own tractor and stuff. You know, but it's hard. I mean, they're, 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 they're discovering, you know, some things are breaking over there on Factor E Farm. Okay. And they're discovering that it's. Uh, it ain't so easy. I mean, they knew it wasn't that easy because they've been at it for six years and it's not easy. What's up with the 128 You mean, uh, what's that? Yeah, we got some acreage. There's acreage around. I mean, that's what I mean. Like, we... There's acreage, like, all around New York yeah, that's five, not wow. being used. 596 I mean, acres in Brooklyn of public vacant space. Wow. Uh, I think it's 596... Six really it's a beautiful website. Yeah. Wow. The um, that's the, I'm wow. I'm working with a group called Brooklyn Permaculture, uh, and oh, we're cool. we, we've just gotten we, the the community is getting keys to a vacant lot that has been vacant for 30 years, and we're going to put in help, uh, we're going to start putting in um, you know bale beds, start wow. setting up soil there. So, so you can that's cool. Yeah, and a community so garden cool. that functions more as a farm, something that produces food, not something that's just like, oh, here's, here, everyone gets a little plot and yeah, yeah. Grows tomatoes and flowers. Like. Wonderful. That's And that's one thing that has happened in Minneapolis, for sure, is that uh, a lot of vacant parcels and sort of unused little spaces have become community gardens. That's really accelerated a lot in the last couple of years. There's a lot of people uh, committed to that in Minneapolis, container gardening. Um, all of that is its own uh, movement. It's, uh, it's, I mean, it's hugely important because, yes. because when gas prices go to eight, ten dollars a gallon, you know, food prices are going to go up, way up, a lot more than because it's, you have to pull the oil out of the tar sands and you have to yeah. pipe it down to the states. Yes, yeah. just just to move food around. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. People are people. Someone said, "What do you think about taking over buildings?" Buildings are going to be taken over. <laughs> yeah, I think it, yeah, they're, they're, our opinion uh, is irrelevant. So yeah, you put it that way. Yeah, yeah. buildings, <laughs> buildings will be taken over. Uh, what do we do with them? Uh, what won't we do with them? Well, yeah, we, we pay less <laughs> rent. That's what we do. With them. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's so much to do. Co-working. Co-working spaces. Yeah. I think it's mine. Yeah. It's mine. Cool. Uh, um, so this person keeps repeating, what do you do to bypass the corporate control of the actual pipes the internet runs on? They control it, and the FCC, they're trying to control it further, and also they asked about Verizon and, sh you know, shady stuff like that. What, what, can, what can we do about this internet censorship, the latest stupid thing in Congress? You know, I think we can interpret it as damage and route around it. That was one trick I've heard of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you gotta yeah. Yeah, create create the new internet with mesh networks, and then be like, "What up, guys?" I mean, people are also putting up ten thousand dollars satellites. Uh, you know, like it's not gonna be. It's getting easier and easier to do more and more. 
Just with like, less and less. I mean, we're really getting to a point where like we we have the technologies are already developed. Now it's just integrating them together uh, so that uh, you know, so that we yeah we we can get like a serious serious mesh going. And the other thing about New York, which is so funny, is that we have all of these buildings with all of this roof space. Yeah. We can just start pointing. We're 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 gonna mesh network. Th- we're gonna mesh network this thing, and people have been working on this for a long time. I mean, even in the city, there are a few groups that have been working on the mesh networking. Uh, within the city, but like the occupations have allowed us to really organize people and say like the time is now to like spend your t- you know spend your time mm-hmm. s- subject matter expert on you know let's get this mesh going like let's do yeah. this in the, yeah, let's do this in three years if you like, now if most people they only react to a time of crisis and I, I've heard this for years like all of us now have twenty dollar fifty dollar routers sitting in our homes so the same way that. They started doing PS2, PlayStation mod chips that would be shipped yeah. for ten dollars so that you can play pirate games on your PS2. Well, eventually you'll have a little mod chip to turn your net gear, your D-Link, or your Cisco box into a mesh yeah. network. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's the only way we're gonna fix it. You're not when, when they change when they transition to Internet 2.0 and they they really introduce TCP/IP6 standards and new routing protocols. We won't be able to get around it because they're changing the nature mm. of TCP and they're changing the nature of DNS. So. The only thing we can do is create a whole separate one. Mm, yeah, it's, it's a tricky thing. Okay, so uh, just to clarify, not that we have the exact explanation of how this space works, but this space is for working groups. It's not for affinity groups that are related to Occupy Wall Street. Is that correct? That, that, that's correct. It's also, the space is also, they're, they're trying to really bureaucratically control it, uh, which like might be a good thing or a bad thing depending on your perspective, but it's definitely for working groups by the NY, you know, of the NYCGA, yeah. and, so, uh, and so even of that, there's only, I mean, there's only space for about 50 people here, uh, max. I mean, 50 people would be a lot, uh, so it would be tough. The voting? Yeah, can you, can you do a screen capture on the screen? I can. What would you like to show? It, it might bog down, but I think we can probably do it. I have um, a whole, I mean, you don't have to do that camera, but I'm going to show you guys. Um, see, I, we are having our own messages bounce, so it's it's frustrating for us too. Um, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Well, thanks. We try to be. Yeah. Interesting. Thank you. We we try. Okay. So we're gonna try to fire up Firefox and hopefully not uh, sync the computer. Um, let's see. So we, 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 okay. So far so good. Um, CPU at 100 uh, percent. What's the URL? Oh no. Let's. We will. We're gonna have to. We, yeah, we'll do this later. Um, I totally. Um, yes. Uh, should we introduce our, our names for ourselves? I mean, I'm Dan. You don't have to, but I'm Dan, uh, aka Hong Kong. So uh, you guys can if you like. I'm Devin, aka the Ball King. <laughs> nice. From back from sixth grade, sixth grade AIM. <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm just Drew. The Drew. <laughs> the Drew. So yeah, that's we're, we're the we're the uh, technology we're, we're the new technology group. Before yes, I was I was in that. the I was in the open source group. Drew is in the internet group. Uh, our friend uh, what's your name? Mm-hmm. Matt. Our friend Matt over here is uh, was in both. Just like ev- basically everyone was in both groups. Yeah. Uh, so we just we just combined for the spokes council to be the technology group, and we're probably gonna oh, start. Oh wow! Yeah. So we're probably gonna. We're now the, what? Are we the tech ops group? Tech ops. Tech, tech operational. Tech operational group. Uh, yeah. Yes. So, too. so, and, so and that's interesting. So the spokes council prompted you guys to say, "Well, this is a little bit too defunct. We're spread more thin than we need to be because this is all one thing, and we, we all get along. So let's just kind of. I mean, kind of. I mean, really. Line? Yeah. I mean, I think. I think really, it didn't matter what groups anyone was in. I mean, at least within us, it was like project-based organization. So people. People in internet were working on the Karma Bank, which is one of the more um, abstract open source projects. Uh, and people in the open source group were working on the Linux site. And it was just, yeah. you know, I mean, we organize around projects. I mean, there, there, there's a conversation taking place about whether or not working groups are even relevant yes. because projects get people doing stuff, not groups. I mean, that's, yeah. that's, a, that's been a big um, thing. And I'm, I'm seeing that going to Brooklyn General Assemblies, um, you know, they don't have a clear goal uh, 
is in place. Mm -hmm. And so trying to help work with groups doesn't make sense because they don't have actual operational needs. They don't have an, an occupation, so they don't need kitchen and, and comfort and sanitation and all this jazz. Um, but they do have projects that need to be taken care of, like planning for yeah, outreach and things of that nature. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're running out of power, but you can you just tell people, we'll probably wrap it up in a second, and just tell people how they can get in touch with all of this. Uh, yeah, right now, right now, wiki.occupyeverywhere.org is a good place uh, to go. Uh, hopefully, within the next few hours or days, We'll we'll have all of our info. I'll ha we'll have all of our stuff at occupy.net, which is just so much shorter. Cool. Uh, yeah, and then we do have occupy.net. I just learned that today. Yeah, yeah. occupy.net. Who knew? Occupy.net. But uh, but uh. Ten dollars. Good. But uh, was yeah. Cool I mean, we're we, we've been working on this. I mean, it drives me absolutely insane that we haven't uh, that we haven't. Uh, Made it easier to connect with other technology folks. Yeah, but it's it's it's, it's hard. It's, it's hard. hard. Yeah, it's yeah. hard. It's funny. You read. It's get, we're getting there. Once Occupy that net stuff, it's going to be a lot easier. Uh, but it's hard. I mean, I, sometimes I read emails from people, and I'm just like, I can't respond to this because the way you phrase this email, like it would take me like it's just it's just difficult. Some people just don't email in the way that makes life easier. Yeah, I mean, it's I. I there we go. We're you in. can also We're connect in. internet Ooh, yes. at nycga.net. Um, that's a good email to send if you have, um, you know, for, for tech outreach. We, 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 there's about three people checking that email address. Uh, but it is it is really hard, and it's it's especially hard because we have a lot of great ideas coming our way. People are people come out with great ideas, but if we can't make it actionable, if we can't turn into a project. If it isn't actually moving, it's very hard to um, yeah. turn it into something. Right. And now we have power, and the computer's not about to die, which is good news. But it was really close there for a second. Yeah. Um, shit. Oh yeah, you call out. Yes. Um, we are. What, one of the things that we're working on, which it, which which has been very difficult, is um, we have these uh, clear uh, base station things, right? So this is these are the clear base stations that we use. Uh, they're like, uh, you know, WiMAX or uh, 4G Majigities. And they are basically, they have a little USB thing for power. Um, and uh, they basically, which what we need is... Um, Not only that, we're trying, to, we're trying to get like all of any, all 3G, all 4G down rolls. The only thing we can get working on, on Linux right now uh, is what's uh, typically supported. So we're, 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 we're like basic network cards. We're we'll able to get the Theros Wi-Fi cards working. We need to get Clearwire 4G USB interfaces working. We need to get Verizon 4G USB interfaces working natively on Linux, so that we can um, we can basically link all of these different connections together into mm -hmm. one big massive pipe. Yeah, because yeah, because this thing has a limited upstream capability, but if you have like five of them together, you have got a pretty good kick-ass upstream capability. And uh, that's just fantastic. And so, but but we but uh, this guy here has been um, you know busting his ass trying to play around with his device driver stuff. It seems like with Linux, if it doesn't have an Ethernet jack, then it's what was the thing? It was like it's not a serial device. Or is that the? It's just the, trying to get these devices with no driver support working. And, uh, you can get it working in Ubuntu. Okay, you can get it working in Red Hat. You're trying to get it working in a, in a proprietary Linux environment. Mm, right? Open WRT and stuff like that. But just like zero shell specifically. So we're looking for anybody that has Linux driver engineering yeah. background. Yeah, it's hardcore. Um, that can yeah. help us on the network side just to get that stuff up and running. Okay, yeah. So, um, but let, just to repeat that, it was a little hard for them to hear you. I, I again, I'm sorry about this mic tonight, but basically, yeah, we're having trouble uh, having any way to pipe these devices together. We need Linux driver experts. So anybody that is used to working with complicated uh, drivers, whether it's going to be a, a new Wi-Fi card or a USB Wi-Fi card or a USB network interface or a, a 3G dongle, 4G dongle, all, all, all of the above, we're looking to make a package where, where anyone can connect numerous different internet connections wirelessly through their computer, and then we can add them all together. So again, we're looking for... Linux driver support experts. Yes. 
Um, somebody else is asking about open source uh, live stream alternatives. I do know that the group uh, May First People Link, uh, they're at mayfirst.org. Um, they're a long time uh, internet collective. I'm mainly based here in New York City. Um, they have developed some kind of kind of open source live stream alternative, but I think it maxes out at a few thousand viewers. And it's basically a combination of several existing uh, open source projects. And unfortunately, I do not, I know it's on their wiki. So it's like, may, you know, probably wiki.mayfirst.org or something like that. I need to track that link down because I get that question a lot. And I don't have the specific information, but I was told, yes, it should be at mayfirst.org if you can get down in their wiki. And I think if you Google, if you Google something called Sockpop, like you'll notice there's, there's lots of other, other, other countries. They're using peer-to-peer uh, -peer live streaming basically in your browser, but it makes you download an application. So it, w it works the same way that your BitTorrent does. Nice. But it's, it's not technology that's readily available. So there's, as far as people who just want to be able to use their computer with Flash, there really is an open source alternative because if we need the bandwidth is what we're really trying to um, deal with. The bandwidth and the resources takes up so much with the live streaming that it makes it sort of unfeasible. Cool. All right, well, um, if there's anything else to throw in, or we can just pretty much leave it there. It has been quite a chat, but it's been great to talk with you guys, and I think yeah. our, our audience has really enjoyed uh, getting into this stuff, because it's, uh, it's cool, and it's more great examples. Just like uh, the Liberty Park, it showed everyone an example of how to occupy a public park and be yeah. awesome. Well, we can show everybody how to occupy a public park with free open source technology and be also awesome. Yep. So why not, right? It's Spread cool. the love. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All, All right. right. All right, live stream. We'll leave it there Thank for you. now, guys. Take care. Good night, everybody. All right, we'll let it chill for a second. Can you turn the list of Yes. The Ustream box. Yes. Yeah.